I rejoiced with those who said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty! Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Teach me, Lord, the way of your decrees, that I may follow it to the end. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, grant to your church the Holy Spirit and the wisdom that comes from above. Let nothing hinder your word from being freely proclaimed to the joy and edifying of Christ's holy people, so that we may serve you in steadfast faith and confess your name as long as we live. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 113 Praise the Lord. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from now to eternity. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. High above all the nations is the Lord. His glory towers above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God? He is seated on high. He bends down to look at the heavens and at the earth. He raises the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the garbage pile to seat them with nobles, with the nobles of his people. He is the one who settles the barren woman in her home as a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Proverbs chapter 20. The intentions in a person's heart are deep water, but a person with understanding can draw them out. Many people claim to be loyal, but who can find a trustworthy man? A righteous person walks in his integrity. How blessed are his children after him. When a king sits on his throne as judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have purified my heart, I am cleansed, from my sinfulness. Differing weights and differing measures, both of them are disgusting to the Lord. Even a youth makes himself known by his acts, by whether his conduct is pure and upright. An ear that hears and an eye that sees, the Lord has made both of them. Do not love sleep or you will become poor. Keep your eyes open and you will have enough to eat. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer. But then he goes away and brags. There is gold, and there are many gems, but lips that have knowledge are a precious vessel. Take the garment from someone who guarantees a loan for a stranger. Hold on to it when he offers it as collateral for a foreigner. Food gained dishonestly tastes sweet to a person, but afterward his mouth will be filled with gravel. Plans are strengthened by obtaining advice, so do not wage war without consultation. A person who goes around spreading gossip reveals secrets, so do not associate with anyone whose lips are always open. The person who curses his father and his mother his lamp will be snuffed out in total darkness. An inheritance easily obtained in the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I'll get even with you. Wait for the Lord, and he will rescue you. Differing weights are disgusting to the Lord, and dishonest scales are not good. The steps a man takes come from the Lord, so how can anyone understand his own way? A person falls into a trap if he pledges something to God impulsively and considers his pledge only later. 
the word of the Lord. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 17. After Jesus had spoken these things, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the time has come. Glorify your Son, so that your Son may glorify you. For you gave him authority over all flesh, so that he may give eternal life to all those you have given him. This is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you sent. I have glorified you on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, glorify me at your own side with the glory I had at your side before the world existed. I revealed your name to the men you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have held on to your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the words you gave me, and they received them. They learned the truth that I came from you. They believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, because they are yours. All that is mine is yours, and what is yours is mine and I am glorified in them. I am no longer going to be in the world, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by your name, which you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I kept those you gave me safe in your name. I protected them, and not one of them was destroyed, except the son of destruction, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I am saying these things in the world, so that they may be filled with my joy. I have given them your word. The world hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I am not asking that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also sent them into the world. I sanctify myself for them, so they also may be sanctified by the truth. I am praying not only for them, but also for those who believe in me through their message. May they all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I am in you. May they also be one in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me. May they become completely one, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may see my glory, the glory you gave me because you loved me before the world's foundation. Righteous Father, the world did not know you, but I knew you, and these men knew that you sent me. I made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known, so that the love you have for me may be in them, and that I may be in them. The Word of the Lord. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. 
Spare us, Lord, from the lies of the devil and the attacks of our conscience. Comfort and save us in your patient compassion. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Guide us, Lord, to the wisdom of your word and the power of your promises. Take away our confusion and doubt. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Hear us, Lord, when we come to you in prayer. Make us confident to take you at your word and to follow you in faith. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Empower us, Lord, to walk in your ways and live in your truth. Fill us with your love that we may love you and one another. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Almighty God, by your Spirit, the whole body of the Church is governed and sanctified. Receive our prayers for all members of your Holy Church, that in their vocations and ministries they may truly serve and honor you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.